This video will introduce the Factory Talk Asset Center Agent Group feature, which is new to version 6.0 of Factory Talk Asset Center. Prior to version 6.0, each agent in a Factory Talk Asset Center system was required to be configured identically. Now, with agent groups, agents with different functionality can be assigned to specific tasks within the system. Agent groups are managed from the new Agent Group tab within the Factory Talk Asset Center client. This view shows three different types of information agent groups and the agents assigned to them, agent and task status when schedules are being executed, and an overview of which assets are assigned to each agent group. Agent group administration is accomplished here, including the addition of new agent groups as well as the assignment of agents to groups. Agents are automatically added to the system default group and can be moved or added to user-defined groups as desired. A single agent can belong to multiple groups. In this example system, there are a variety of Logix assets with firmware versions ranging from 19 through 23. There are currently three agent groups, System Default, Logix V19, and Logix V20 through 23. These agent groups can be used to service assets across three different versions of Logix without the requirement to install the same version on every agent computer. In this example, agent number 3 only has Logix V19 installed, so it would not be able to service an asset at a higher version. The agent icons also indicate the current status of an agent. If an agent is unavailable, its icon will show a red X. When it becomes available again, the red X will disappear. Using the Assets per Agent group view, we can quickly see that all of the system's Logix assets have been configured in their appropriately versioned agent group with the exception of one. This asset has recently been upgraded to Logix V24. In this example, only agent number one has been upgraded to service Logix V24. Since it is the only agent now capable of servicing the new asset upgrade, an agent group will be created to contain it. Note that design mode is required to make edits to the agent groups. Agent number one can now be added to the new agent group. Note that in this example, the agent is being dragged and dropped into a different agent group. Because agent number one is still capable of servicing multiple other agent groups, it can be added back into as many as necessary using the Add Agent button. With the new agent group defined, the upgraded asset can be assigned to it. This is accomplished in the asset's properties. Notice that all Logix assets are now divided between the three Logix agent groups. When a schedule is running, the agent status pane can be used to monitor each task. The status area will show the current status of each task that is in progress or queued, the agent group to which it is configured, and the agent performing the task if it is currently running. Notice that the newly configured asset has been correctly assigned to the only agent capable of servicing it, as did one of the V19 assets. Because there are two agents in the V20 to V23 agent group, those assets will get whichever agent becomes available first. Factory Talk Asset Center agent group functionality is licensed by capacity, or in other words, the total number of agent groups that can be configured. By default, up to two agent groups can be configured. If more are required, bundles of four additional agent groups can be added. Up to 10 agent groups are recommended for a single system, with up to five agents assigned to any group. For more information, please see the following sites.